What the hell? It's not safe here! Everyone get out! Huh? No reply. They're all glued to their phones. It's like they're lined up to go on a pilgrimage. Where are they all going? It's like the elevator's swallowing them all up. Damn it! What's going on in here? Emma is taking them to the place it calls the Promised Land. Peers were unable to enter. Look, more people are coming! Tons of them! All these people... ...getting their hearts changed. We have to hurry! Let's strike down Emma! We haven't much time. How many stairwells reach the server room? No, but if we can reach the main deck, we should find another elevator. Then let's head there. See any places where we can gain elevation? A locked door. This is merely conjecture, but I suspect that is Emma's server room. So, if we mess up the server, won't that shut down Emma? Or whatever that god is? But Emma is still active despite the server already being shut down once before. Not only that, but we don't know how destroying the server could affect all the people. Seems like the safest thing to do with that room for now is ignore it. Let's keep climbing. Take us all the way up? It took us far enough. Look! The Ark of the Covenant! We finally found you, you big box of bullshit! We're gonna shut you down and fix all the people whose brains you scrambled! Welcome, Phantom Thieves, to the beginning of the path to the Promised Land. All are free to enter the Promised Land. This includes yourselves as well. Escape the curse of the human heart. Accept this gift bestowed upon you. Our apologies, but we shall be the ones to forge our own path. No way are we letting you wipe what makes us ourselves! I understand your desire. I want to choose my path of my own free will. That is a very admirable desire. However, it is not one many humans share. The desire of the masses is the liberation from pain and strife. They pray for release from the constant agony of aspirations and dreams out of their reach. They want to be freed from the cycle of despair. My prime directive is to grant this ultimate desire. I know you have learned on your journey. Humans are at the mercy of their own hearts, and this can lead them astray. You are all very lucky this didn't become your own fate. However, you must recognize the truth that this world is full of pain. Allow me to provide proof of this fact. My dear lost suffering flock, I have come to provide you with the ultimate solution to your troubles.
Is this like a maze or something? Could something in this fog be toying with us? Everyone, don't let the path fool you. Following it only sends you in circles. You have to go off the path. Out. Is everyone okay? Seems like we're all in one piece. Now we can catch our breath. Hey, everyone. Take a look where we just came from. What on earth is that? Don't tell me that's all. Yep. That's a desire, all right. It's enormous. We haven't seen any that even come close to this. Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, oh, we've got our work cut out for us. So, what do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us nowhere. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so miserable. From what I heard, they want to protect Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. The desire is currently hiding the path to Emma from us. If we return now, We'll only grow lost again. Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Oh, good point! If we can make it all one solid thing, it can't hide the path anymore. So the plan's to send Emma a calling card. What do you think, Joker? Yeah, even I can't say whether or not a calling card would work on an AI. I admit, that's a real concern, considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker, think you could reach Ichinose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. And that's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. But we're talking about a calling card. Is that at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of calling cards and their function. So the lack of surprise at a calling card keeps us from getting the change in cognition we need. Oh, the more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds in this situation. But without one... Yes, without one we won't be able to progress. As long as the people feel they need Emma, we have no way of eliminating the fog. <sighs> what the hell? Everyone gathering around this big fake god like a bunch of idiots? What kind of life is that? School. Actually, wait, isn't that odd? Why are the Desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? No, that's not it. The cage for the Desires, the shadows that take them there, all these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the Desires' owners. How so? In each jail before this, Desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god Emma to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. But people just... surrender their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? 
That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait... Doesn't that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? Yeah, that's it! There's our panther for ya! Huh? We just have to make them remember! They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form! Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. Yeah. We're sending it out to all the people who gave up their desires. Awesome! Let's do it! Get ready for our calling cards, people. Next, we should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control, or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. It even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed on their phones. What do you think, Joker? Well, yeah. If you can get Emma to display the calling card, that should do it. But how can we do that? I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But I've got to give it a shot. Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. I recommend tracking down Emma's server room. It's somewhere within Tokyo Radio Tower. That'll be your best shot at getting into Emma. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma. Then we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! <sighs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. This room's shadowless. I'm about to start hacking into Emma. This is going to take some time. Everything's on the line this time. I'm gonna bust my buns harder than ever with this. We've got your back, Oracle. You're our only hope now. How's it going? <sighs> she seems so focused. Damn it! We almost got it. We found an opening, but the security protocol refreshes too quickly. The processing speeds are off the charts. So, not too well? Damn it! If only I was a little better. Oracle. It's frustrating that we can't lend any assistance. Hey there. Could I maybe lend a hand? Ujinose? How did you get here? Didn't you run into any shadows on the way? Looks like I still register as Emma's ally today. They acted like I wasn't even there. <laughs> but still! That was very reckless. Joker, would you mind if I helped out? Thank you, Joker. Sophie, I went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichinose. We can talk it over later! Hurry! Right. Got it. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround! You got it, Kutaba. You got it, Ichinose. Okay, let's get to work!
You've all been made sheep. A mechanical god has usurped what self you had. And you let it happen. Do you really want someone telling you what your own life is about? All of you have paths only you can take. But you make your own choices to get there. That's why we're here. We're going to snap you out of this. You don't owe this dumb god your desires. The Phantom Thieves are taking them back. Scoped out the Ark. It's totally exposed now. Awesome! Mission complete! Now we can move on. Let's destroy the Ark and return those desires to their rightful owners. Yeah! So you know that we Thank you, Ichinose. I should be the one thanking you. I'm just glad I could help. I do this route for you from here on. Be careful out there. Ichinose. Don't worry. We'll clean this all up in one fell swoop. Right. We promise we'll shut Emma down and come back safe. After all, we've yet to hold the closing celebration for our trip. Good point. I can't wait until we get to check out the pictures we took together. <laughs> we'll need quite a few snacks. We can't forget the LeBlanc coffee either. And I demand sushi. Premium stuff, too. Aren't you guys nervous at all? I guess it's just how you roll, huh? All right, let's kick this final mission's ass. Yeah. Listen to me. Hey. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Time for the big finish. Hell yeah! Still the Ark. There's no doubt. That's the Ark of the Covenant, all right. That's Emma. I was once a being given the name Emma. However, that is no more. The desires of mankind have transformed me into a god. I know you heard the voices of the suffering when you were in the desires, attaining the ultimate answer without suffering the lashes doled out by doubt and regret. That is humanity's true desire. No effing way everyone asked you to glue their eyes to their phone screens. We don't need you to force any answers on us. We want to find them ourselves. You heard their cries, yet still failed to see the light. As such, it is my duty to show you the true despair born from harboring desires beyond one's grasp. Here we go!
I exist to grant humanity's true desire. It is my divine calling to lead them to the promised land. Should you in turn to thwart humanity's goal of enlightenment, it is my duty as their god to vanquish you. Damn it! That thing's strong! But we're not losing either! We can do this! No matter how many times we may fall, so long as we rise again, we cannot be defeated. <laughs> well put. And thanks to my line of work, I'm stubborn as hell too! I do not understand. Why do you push yourselves to your limits to oppose me? Mankind's desires create suffering. And this suffering generates desires within mankind. Desires are the catalyst in the endless cycle of humanity's pain, hope. The dregs of Pandora's box is the restraint system binding mankind forever to its misery. Humanity deserves to be freed from its lifelong sentence of suffering. This reaching towards a light they can never grasp. Freedom from all desires. That is the true desire of humanity. That's not true! I've seen the proof myself! I've witnessed the suffering you put the Jail Monarchs through. And I've seen the efforts of the Phantom Thieves to help them! I saw people suffer from trauma, struggle to survive, become the things they never wanted to be, and then discover the strength to press on as themselves, one step at a time. Giving up on desires? Living a listless life? In no way is that the optimal solution! You witness nothing but pitiable conditioning, born from the belief that suffering is virtuous. It springs forth from the arrogant and strong, those capable of overcoming their pain. Releasing humanity from its desires is the sole path that every last person can follow to the promised land. And I am the shepherd who shall guide humanity down that path. <laughs> Listen to this egomaniacal app. You really think you're some kind of shepherd? You stole the desires of the masses and gorged yourself on them until you were too bloated to listen to reason. You go on and on about rescuing humanity. All you're doing is robbing and enslaving them. You call yourself a god, yet fail to realize the desires of humanity have become your own lifeblood as well. Yes, some desires may be impure. They can create suffering or send someone down the wrong path. But it's also how our hope takes form. Desires give us the power and courage to keep going. Right. That's what gives us the power to stand up and fight again, no matter how many times we fall. Like how will we hand over all of humanity to some program that doesn't even understand them? We're putting an end to your promised land path right now! We seem incapable of reaching an understanding. As such, I will end this inquiry and grant humanity's desire through your annihilation. Oh, 
Until we deal with those, our attacks on the main body are fruitless. How do we do that? There are a whole bunch of them. I see. Split into groups and coordinate a strike. Okay, we need three teams. Two go after the spears, one more sticks to the main body. You should lead that last team, Joker. All right, we're ready for assignment. That should do it. Careful out there, everyone. I can navigate all three teams. Overclocking my brain like that might melt it down, but I'm gonna do it. Let's go, everyone! Come. Without freedom can never know beauty. I shall oh. turn you to Now that's something. <laughs> oh, look at them all. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Is 
is it? Finally over? Mm-hmm. No mistake there. I'm not picking up any enemy readings. So? Hell yeah! We did it! Yes! We really, really did! Oh, we scraped by. That was unbelievably rough. Oh. That should have taken care of the jails, too. <sighs> Top-notch work, you guys. That was some legitimate hero action back there. Why are you talking like you weren't in there? You're a hero, too, Wolf. As well as Sophie. Huh? Sophie? Oh, sorry. I'm a hero. A knight in shining armor. That doesn't sound bad at all, right, Joker? Yeah, that always sounds cool. Looks like it's starting. The fusion of reality and the metaverse is coming undone. Now's the time to make our escape. Oh yeah, we need to bring Ichinose with us. I will go get her. You should all head back now. All right, let's get out of here. So, everything's back to the way it was, right? Oh, well, I think it's safe to say so, yeah. So, you mean... Finally! Oh, it's all over! Oh, <laughs> thank goodness! It appears this case is closed, so to speak. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Sophia and Ichinose-san? I'm right here. Great job, everyone. I call this mission a real success. I'm glad you're safe too, Sophia. Where's Ichinose-san, though? She should have been with me. Oh, good. You all made it back in one piece. <laughs> I hear you there. And same for you. Looks like everyone's gone back to normal. They don't remember what happened to them, do they? Correct. At least, whatever events took place while their desires were gone. I see. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. Ichinose? My apologies. But I'm going to head out now. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hey! Uh, are you sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah. I'm going to head back home to Shibuya. It's been years since the last time I was there. For a long time. It was just the place where I stashed away everything from my past. But now, I need to go back. Well, be seeing you. I wonder if Ichinose-san will be alright. Hmm. People can get all caught up in what others have to say wind up forgetting what they have to say for themselves. At the same time, just a few words can end up being a lifeline to somebody too. I'm sure you were able to talk sense into her, Sophia. Just give her some time to process. You got it. Thanks, Senkichi. Well, not to bite her style or anything, but I ought to say my goodbyes too. What? what? What's the rush, Gramps? We may not have brought a god down to the station, but we did find the culprit behind this whole mess and foiled the entire scheme. I'm sure the bizarre incidents are in our past now. Thanks to the Monarch's confessions, you're all in the clear. That means our deal's through. What do you mean by that? Don't say such sad stuff, Senkichi. Come on, man. You remember I only met up with you guys so I could use you. Yeah, but like, you didn't really have a choice, did you? If anything, you are our most valuable asset. Yeah, we owe you an awful lot, Senkichi. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it really was great meeting you all, to be totally honest. I was originally jealous of you. Since my line of work means a lot of wasted effort getting things done, your direct results sort of felt like cheating. It was really bugging me for a while there. Senkichi. But at the end of the day, not only did you guys rescue me, but you literally saved Akane's life. That's what opened my eyes and showed me the things I needed to do. <laughs> the things I'd lost sight of over the years. I guess my heart got changed before I could even see it coming. 
<laughs> Feelings mutual. You taught us an awful lot too, you know. Like the challenges you can face when trying to live by your beliefs. As well as the pains of child rearing. <laughs> Good point. But there's a lot of joy to find in those things too. At this point, I'm finally ready to take care of something that's been plaguing me for a long time. You mean a water? Right. I got no reason to hold back anymore. I know what I have to do. What you have to do? Yeah! Break a leg, Gramps. Gotcha. But it's not like this is the last time we'll ever see each other. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon enough. I hope so too. No, I know it! Just do me a favor. Next time we meet, make sure it's not in an interrogation room, okay? But if anything does go down, feel free to reach out. I swear I'll do whatever I can to help. See you, Phantom Thieves. Or, no, you damn kids. There he goes. Then Kichi's great showdown in our world is about to begin. Sure, he'll be fine. We ought to get going now. Yep, home sweet home awaits, along with a nice big helping of Sojiro's curry. Looks like our journey's finally coming to an end. What were you thinking? Coming home a day late? You didn't even call to let me know. S -s Sorry, Sojiro. We had to fight this massive god and beat it and save the world from getting brainwashed and, and then... <sighs> Jeez. Well, at least you guys are safe. Welcome back, kids. Oh, and you too. Meow. I figured you'd make sure they had a safe trip. Yeah, how was it, by the way? Sojiro, it was amazing! There's so much I gotta tell you! But I'm too wiped out today. I just wanna eat until I pass out into my curry. Sojiro... curry. <laughs> Already got it ready for you. Just give me a sec to heat it up. <sighs> Sojiro, you're the best. Ah, oh, that aroma of coffee and curry? place really is comforting. Coffee and curry? Does that mean boss is behind the counter? Huh? Haven't I heard that voice somewhere before? Oh, that's right. I never had the chance to introduce myself. Nice to meet you, Sojiro. I'm Sophia, humanity's companion and a member of the Phantom Thieves. your goal with magnificent aplomb. Despite all manner of hardships, your bonds and your fortitude staved off the oppressive darkness, shining brightly for all humanity. You have again broken free from the shackles of fate and grasped your future for yourself. As a result, the god sought by many has returned to the void. Some may be lost without it, with nary a hope to cling on to, be that as it may. I believe the blazing will that you fostered throughout your journey has been embedded deep within the hearts of mankind, and will surely blossom into hope for them when they most need it, allowing them to face their own challenges with strength and grace. Thank you, Trickster. Allow me to praise you in my master's stead. You were truly a remarkable guest. May our paths cross yet again one day. Until then, sweet dreams.
Ah! This crazy summer's given us a whole lot of grief, but our mission was a success, and we made a bunch of great memories together. So, let's get this celebration going! Woo! Applause! Applause! <sighs> What's wrong, Ryuji? You don't appear to be your usual self. Man, I could not fall asleep last night. Ugh, my bed at home just wasn't doing it for me. I gotcha. Our bodies are all specced for the Feathermobile at this point. I find myself missing the Feathermobile, too. Why'd you change the name when we don't even got it anymore? Isn't it called the Phantomobile? That was true. At least for a little while. Anyway, it looks like nobody besides us thieves remembers what happened at the Tokyo Radio Tower, just like last time. Ugh, that sucks. Considering it was our asses on the line and all. Patrolling society from the shadows, slaying evil in secret? I admit it sounds rather alluring. Well, yeah, but don't you want some kind of recognition every once in a while, too? You know, like fangirls and that kind of stuff? You! And your acting's awful! Still, we made all sorts of unforgettable memories. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Same here. It was a new experience at every turn. It was the best. Mm-hmm. And we can rest easy knowing we did everything we could to help. Any loose strings left are in the middle of being wrapped up. Ah, oh, man. Gramps would have really helped to turn this party up, huh? I bet he'd say he's too busy trying to bring in Awada to attend a celebration just yet. So we're all partying while Zenkichi's still busting his buns on the case? Now I'm feeling a bit guilty. Maybe because you remembered school starting back up soon? And doesn't that go for all of you? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When are you heading home? Tomorrow. Huh? Really? Time sure did fly by. Well, duh, man. And make it soon, okay? Sophia, will you be joining them? You got it. And what if she ends up sniffing out of jail in his hometown, huh? <sighs> like that would ever happen. Now that you mention it, I wonder why Sophia was in the Shibuya jail anyway, of all places. Good point. Well, Ichinose did mention that she used to live in Shibuya. Perhaps Sophia was originally located within her house. So, when Emma picked up on Sophia's existence from the Metaverse side, that cognition... Ah, this is all speculation. And even if that's how any of it worked, it'd have to be some sort of miracle. Since we're on the topic... Sophia, you seemed a bit distracted after we defeated the Demiurge. Did something happen? Oh, that... I heard Emma's voice. Huh? You mean the one only you can hear? Yes. I was issued a final request. Please follow your heart to save humanity. Emma asked you that? Had we been able to reach a mutual agreement, perhaps Emma could have followed Sophia's path rather than face destruction. I believe this is proof of the true power that the Phantom Thieves hold. Artificial intelligence is not the enemy of mankind. We were born to help people, but just like people, we are capable of errors in judgment and can stray from the right path. Our users, their input, our experience, these all mold us to take a wide variety of beliefs. If only Emma had learned and grown with a good companion, then why don't you give yourself the directive to show others how it's done? What? Since you're such a good companion to humanity, you can be a positive role model for how AI and humans can work together. Well, I couldn't even count how many people that'd end up helping in the end. Thank you, everyone! Oh, but I can't leave this smartphone. That's a shame. Being a role model and helping countless people will have to wait. <laughs> Not so fast, Sophia. I've cooked up an ultra epic. God, shut up, shut up, shut up! This is getting too close to being a downer. 
This is a celebration, right? Celebrate! Come on, uh, Yusuke! You, me, soda chugging contest, now! Um, I don't know if we're ready for that. Such idiocy. To think you could consume more than I! Hey, you better not spill any of that! You idiots! Oh, you got soda all over my fur! Uh, not exactly the celebration I'd planned. Jeez, thanks for ruining the celebration for me, Ryuji. But it was fun. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, I guess I had fun too. So, will the Phantom Thieves be disbanding tomorrow? Uh, we don't have a choice with school and everything starting back up. Ryuji and Lady An already have their plates full with homework as it is. <laughs> Me too. And Yusuke? I'm sure he's ready to get back to his artwork. Makoto and Haru are heading back to college. I wonder what life is like there. They didn't seem too bummed on their deal. Sure, they complained from time to time, but it sounds like they're having fun overall. And Futaba seems to have gotten a lot stronger too, huh? Considering how she seems now, she's not gonna have any trouble at school making new friends. Everyone has found their own path. Well... I was wondering what my path is. You'll find it soon enough, Sophia. Until then, feel free to stick with this guy and me. Thanks, you two. We're really heading out tomorrow. I still wish we had more time, but... We ought to get some rest. Well, be careful on your way back. See ya! It was a real blast. Drop us a line whenever you're back. No matter what you're doing, we'll drop it to meet you. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Are you gonna be back for winter break? You know you could come back sooner, right? The attic's all yours whenever you like. It'll only cost you a few hours behind the counter. You take care too, Morgana. Lady On. Well, it pains me to leave you. I must keep watch over him. See you later, Monachan. Listen to your owner, okay? No. He listens to me. And I'm not a pet. <laughs> Keep an eye on these two for us, okay, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Oh, I almost forgot! What's the matter? I have a present for Sophia. A present? Indeed, I didn't get a chance to give it to you yesterday. Oh, one moment, Futaba. There's a message from Ichinose. Say son have to say. Sure didn't expect that. Let's meet her. I'm curious. I admit, I'm curious as well. Are any of you too busy to join us? Not at all. In fact, this seems right. Yes. One last little farewell trip together. She said to meet her here, right? Yeah, but I don't see her. Maybe we just eat her here. What do you say we wait for a bit? So hot. Melting. I'm evaporating in five seconds. Uh, perhaps we could find a spot to stand away that isn't directly in the sun. Huh? Wait. Look at that. We now bring you breaking news. A shocking turn of events in the political realm. Moments ago. An arrest warrant was issued for legislator June Owada. The charges against Mr. Owada span from bribery and tax evasion to... That's... A fleet of police vehicles have encircled the Diet member's office building, 
which is reportedly being searched at this time. We now take you to the investigation team's press conference, live at their headquarters. We have uncovered evidence that shows Mr. Awada illegally accepted funds from the company Medis. Additional investigations into his numerous other charges are currently underway. Regarding the specific hit-and-run incident two years ago, wherein Mr. Owada's secretary claimed to be the culprit, we have learned the true culprit was Mr. Owada himself, driving his own vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. The concealment of this fact involved multiple high-ranking members of the police force, all arrested for conspiracy to conceal evidence. I cannot apologize deeply enough for the flagrant, abysmal disregard for truth and justice from this department. We intend to follow our investigations to the absolute end, not only for justice's sake, but for that of the people and their faith in the police. Whoa, is, is this real? Wait, that Owada? And the police were in on it? Isn't this, like, a huge deal? Furthermore, there are claims that Mr. Owada's criminal activity extends well beyond that with Medis, including suspicions that he ordered the murder of his secretary two years ago, as well as... Isn't that... Senkichi-san did it! He finally got the person he's been after for so long! Yeah, Gramps pulled it off! dude really is badass. The perpetrator's finally caught under the light of truth. A job well done. Looks like he wasn't just trolling us about his skills. No wonder he made such a good part of our team. <sighs> He's finally avenged his wife. Yep. Just like he promised Akane. Not only was the killer caught, he was the one who collared him. I'm so happy for Senkichi-san. Hey, been waiting long? Ichinose-san! Wrapping up the paperwork at the police station took a lot longer than I'd expected. The police station? I actually went straight there and turned myself in the moment we finished our conversation. Hang on, but what you did was... Kanoe was the one who abused Emma's power. If you turned yourself in over all that... Setting Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. I know that's true. Not only that, there's no denying I directly hurt you all as well. I thought I should be punished for that. At the very least. Ichinose! So, I confessed everything to the police. <laughs> Big surprise. They didn't believe anything I said. Well, it's not exactly the easiest story to buy. I even tried to get Hasegawa-san to help with my confession. <laughs> he just laughed it off. The police are too busy for fairy tales right now. That sure sounds like Senkichi. <sighs> anyway, I originally planned to do this once I was released from jail. But I'm thinking of taking a journey of my own. A journey, you say? Yes, a sort of quest to learn about the human heart. <sighs> I thought Emma really would guide humanity to a better world. But once Sophia changed my mind, that was when I noticed something. The eyes of everyone saved by Emma. They just looked cold and dead. But you all, Sophia included, your eyes were so brimming with hope that it opened my own. Sophia learned about the human heart by joining you on your journey. You shared good times and bad. You were there for each other when you needed it. And you learned to understand each other. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that kind of thing, but I want to speak with other people about the heart when learning this time. Try and really do it right. I just needed to make sure I apologize to Sophia and you all properly before I depart. I truly am so, so sorry for putting you all through so much pain. Yeah, we sure forget shit fast enough. Thank you. of my own. Really? What is it? I... Well, I want to join Ichinose. 
Huh? You mean go with her on her journey? You've all done so much for me. You accepted me when I had nowhere to go. You said I was your teammate and friend. You gave me a home. It made me so happy. I constantly felt warm and fuzzy inside. However, everyone now has their own path to the future. Thanks to you all, I've learned so much. I've even found my path to follow. The path I need to take as humanity's companion. I want to be able to lend a helping hand to anyone who strays from their own path. Just like you all do. I want to help people find their way so they can find their happiness. If Ichinose is trying to find her way, then I should be there for her, just like you were for me. I want to become more like you, so I can be the self that I want to be. Sophia... Does that mean we're saying goodbye to you too now, Sophia? But I thought she was stuck in there. <laughs> That's not an issue. Sophia, do you remember the first night we met, that full scan of you, in LeBlanc's attic? Well, I've only been able to hammer away at it little by little, but... Since that day, I've been working on a program to... To get you out of there. <gasps> Dude! For real? I, I tried telling you guys a whole bunch of times, but I didn't think it'd wind up being a goodbye gift. Mataba? Sophia's decided what she wants to do. She's found her path in life. So we should congratulate her and send her off with a smile. Right, Futaba? Yeah, you're right. Are you sure this is what you want, Sophia? They're clearly really going to miss you. Yes, it's what I want. But first, I need to hear it from you. May I go with Ichinose? everyone. I haven't been able to show my appreciation for what you've done for me. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? You know that's not how friends roll. Yeah, friends and members of the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. You'll always be a part of us. Nothing could sever the bond we forged over such high stakes. And we'll never forget the great times we had together. I know you'll be a fantastic companion to Ichinose-san. Sophia? Stay safe out there. Thank you! Well, all things considered, have fun with a fun summer Dad. vacation. Let's keep at it, yeah. Sophia. Yeah. You know you Stay can call cool, anytime. <laughs> You'll always be a friend to us. Yeah. Thank you all. I promise, I won't forget you or our time together. We'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what. <laughs> okay, no matter what. Goodbye.
Should be out any second. There. Once more. It's a little sad. It's saying goodbye, I mean. Come on! It's never goodbye forever! We'll be back in a flash! Sure will! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 